It's a cuckoo clock. It used to be very famous in Germany. Yeah. That's where the majority of them they used to come. Yeah. So now this is the power reserve. Yeah. <laughs> So it goes How many all hours? the way down, and then you have to make sure when you adjust the time, you go clockwise. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like uh, two forty-five now. You should you should not go anti-clockwise because yeah. it's gonna break. So it's it's two forty. Yeah. It's 2.40 and here the power is full and there is one final trick that you have to push this yes. away a little bit so it starts, it starts ticking. ticking. Nice. Now you can hear the beautiful tick tick. Good, then we start Patek. You yes. ready for Patek? Yes, <laughs> I am always ready. Good, Kevin. Yeah. Then show us what kind of Patek watches you have. Sure, here you go. We start with the Nautilus and Aquanet, which yes. is the most two famous collections. <laughs> yes. Always. Bingo, here you go. The Nautilus and the Aquanaut. Wow. And there are more to show you. <coughs> Here you go. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Nice one. Fresh from the factory. It's a double shield. <laughs> wow. 5980 blue dials. It's got discontinued. I think from impossible, time ago. impossible to get it like this today, or? Yes. Today, Patek is extremely famous and wanted. Yeah. They yeah. don't give away watches double sealed anymore. Wow. So, if it's double sealed like this, how much more in value is it? Uh, I'll tell you the idea of uh, double sealed yeah. when it comes to Patek, it's my favorite brand. Well, yeah. I, want to, I want to clarify a few things. Yes. What is single seal, what is double seal, and what's the value of the double seal, and why some people want double seal. Yeah. Well, single seal watches, they don't really add that much of a value. You know mm -hmm. why? because single seal can be made in market very easily basically you pick up a watch and you seal and press you know we have a seal machine at home where we do vacuum and press the coffees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the same machine can be used to do for the watches so yeah. in my opinion it's just purely my personal opinion single seal does not add that much of a value you know why for example I have a lot of Patek mm -hmm. cartoons and from sealed open. Some, some, uh, some buyers they offer me money for these. Yeah, but we don't sell. Them. <laughs> wow. You know? I mean, because I know the next step. Yeah, yeah. Why should somebody pay? Yeah. For these cartoons. Yeah. Can I can I see one? And how much do the people offer you for a carton? <laughs> <laughs> so this cardboard box, how much? I got shocked yeah. when I had an offer for $20,000 for just What? This. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Because single seal and double seal watches sell yeah. at much more premium. Yeah. Okay. So wow. for my, in my opinion, 
uh, single seal is easy to be made in the yeah. market so for yeah. me has no much of a value yeah but the double seal is different okay because it's it's harder yeah to copy the seal idea mm -hmm. because single seal is when the watch is in this plastic okay and it's vacuum and press yeah. that's a single seal, single seal. Yeah. okay but when this goes into the carton yeah okay and it's pressed here so yeah. that's become a double seal so because like this one yes because this the double seal yeah. has a lot of printings and barcodes so it's much more difficult to be uh, the idea to be yeah. to be repressed the okay. watch to be pressed again yes yes uh, so double seal is very mm -hmm. much valuable yeah and what's the idea of the double seal why should somebody pay more and buy a double seal a lot of people buy watches for investment mm -hmm. especially Patek Philippe yeah when the watch is double sealed and you're going to resell them 10 years from now five years from now there wouldn't be any doubt that the watch even has been used for once okay. yeah. so the buyer can easily sell my watch is double sealed I've never used it mm -hmm. never opened from the manufacturer pack yeah. but it's almost impossible these days mm -hmm. to find them because the brands are not giving that opportunity anymore yeah yeah, yeah. so double seal is valuable it's for investment Sing single seal for me is not that much valuable many people misunderstand the word they think if it's seal means it's new or it's uh, mm -hmm. without seal means it's not new no yeah. it has nothing to do uh, for that okay so it's uh, for example this watch mm -hmm. is neither a single seal yeah. nor a double seal yeah it's just in the carton yeah the double seal is open and the single seal is not there also okay. so the watch is not pressed yeah yeah the plastic it's, it's not it's just in the carton yeah. it's just yeah it doesn't okay. mean it has a carton a single seal yeah. or double yeah. seal. Yeah. Nice. just i come when selling patek i come across a lot of uh communication about this so i thought it's good to <laughs> clarify perfect this Amazing. is one of one of the best of all time yeah it's a mecca edition yeah okay yeah, it's in green color oh, wow. green is the holy color for the our part of the world and it's made of uh, platinum mm -hmm. it's made for a mecca it's i believe it's 150 pieces limited it's yeah. a very precious and valuable watch it's a yeah. platinum you know and uh, not uh, there are many people a bit uh, practice religion more the they don't wear uh, the gold watch so it's, it's platinum it's Mac edition and it's platinum yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's in green again yeah. green is a very precious uh, color these days in yeah. watch industry you know yeah the trend was uh, blue no mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. green uh, and Tiffany so every, yeah. uh, once in a while some some changes is happening in yeah. the watch industry yeah uh, so it, these are very well-known models yeah uh, everybody knows these models very well yeah and the prices are quite well known by everyone mm -hmm. uh, here I would say the most complicated model is 5740G yeah which is a uh, white gold mm -hmm. and this is the first watch that comes in the Nautilus section if you look at the catalog yeah you know, so I leave that's uh, by the way, that's uh, that's not the most uh, that's not the most expensive uh, Nautilus because they make a lot of out of catalog models. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. There are many models that I don't have in stock uh, yeah. as well, but it's by order can yeah. be available. Uh, Perpetual used to be in the previous year catalog used to be in the first page of Nautilus section but now it's been taken over by the green ones, mm -hmm. the location. <laughs> you know, everything matter in the luxury industry, yes. even the location of the watch in and the, the rich catalog. catalog. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah, so, you know, like it's uh, 6300, it's always on the first page, or 6300, it's by level of importance of the watch. Yeah, yeah. You know, everything matters. Oh, Where wow. you display in your store, yeah. at the entrance, or yeah. at the very end, at the left side, at the right side. Yeah. So the brands, they have their own concept and theory. They mm -hmm. study customer psychology very well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. from every single step of manufacturing, sales, and so on. Nice. 
the the five nine nine zero also was one of the latest uh, latest models. Mm -hmm. It's in blue dial five nine nine zero. They discontinued the uh, five nine nine zero in stainless steel, and they came up with this. Yeah. So uh, sometimes in watch business we can guess uh, the next step. You know, five seven one two, for example, is not yet discontinued. But you can guess what okay, could be. The next model could be the same watch in, in rose gold and, and discontinued this and yeah. to be released in rose gold. I'm yeah. just predicting. And most of the times uh, the predictions come becomes to be yeah. assumptions comes through. Yeah. Or discontinue this and make mm -hmm. a green dial. Mm -hmm. Could be. There is sometimes rumors around. Yeah. And you know, the moment that uh, any model gets discontinued, mm -hmm. it becomes more difficult to get your hand on one, and yeah. there is will be a very big jump in the price yeah. normally. Yeah. Aqu Aquanaut uh, gives more uh, sport feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to watch in rubber for diving, for more heavy exercise. Yeah. But the Nautilus is more a dress watch. Yeah. So, especially this orange one became so famous because a lot of people, I realize these days, they love uh, color watches. So it gives more life to mm -hmm. the watch. And it's a fast selling uh, at big premium models. That's why I have many of them in my collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quite yeah. my it, personal it, it, favorite. It comes in two different straps, each single yeah. watch. Yeah. So it's an orange and uh, nice. normally people who own Richard Mille mm -hmm. colorful uh, sport watches, they must make sure they have one of the orange uh, Aquanut. Oh. Yeah, it is my personal favorite, uh, 5164A, the it's travel the time. time yeah. Oh, it's so nice, but yeah, it's you know, impossible for normal human beings to get from the you boutique. Know, Patrick Philip. As always, the famous slogan, you never own Patrick Philip. You yeah. merely take care after it for the next generation. This slogan is so much thought after. Mm -hmm. So to came up with this idea, because it's, it's a message that you're giving to your audience and to your target customers. And to keep this, for example, to yeah. keep this myth going forever, this message going forever, you have to be able to remanufacture the part of the watches when they come for a service, after sales services, you have to keep the production line alive for years and decades mm. and decades. It's unlike the many brands, fashion brands, entry-level brands, where a certain model comes and goes forever. You want yeah. to replace the part that's not going to be possible. You, you. But in Patek, you have to keep the know-how and the manufacturing uh, machinery everything alive so yeah. because you're selling a watch that yeah. goes for the next generation yes yeah so that's that's a that's a good thing when I say branding it's branding so they mm -hmm. know uh, what are they doing perfectly yeah this is a lovely model got discontinued oh, wow. all time and this is the this is one of my favorite models this yeah ultra slim yeah and oh, it's wow. uh, Patrick Philip, super slim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this watch. This watch, uh, it's unisex. Yeah. I believe men can wear it, ladies can wear it. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of my favorite models. Yeah. And this is the perpetual calendar Salmon dial, which oh, got wow. discontinued. It's yeah. in platinum. Yeah. And we have a Celestia, a very famous model, Sky Moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the very, very wanted and difficult models to get hand. Oh, and this is the father of uh, Aquanaut collection, I would yeah. say. Uh, it's known as uh, Terminator, uh -huh. because half of the face, you can see it's the skeleton side oh. of the face wow. on the dial. It was released also a few years ago and got yeah. discontinued. <laughs> the prices in the market easily above half a million US dollars, oh, easily. Wow. So, you know, every model these days, people who love it, they they give a nice nickname like yeah. Batman, yeah. Root Spear, uh, Hulk and, and so on. So this the nickname is Terminator. So Patek, your favorite brand? I'll show you. Patek is Patek. I love every brand uh, they have something to offer yeah you know yeah. it's for me definitely patek is one of my favorite brands 
but I love uh, so many other brands, especially independent brands that's coming mm. up these days, very innovative. Yeah. Uh, Paris, Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Always must be in your list, otherwise, uh, it's the heritage of uh, the watch industry, you know. Yeah. It's, it's you love the heritage and the story and all this. Patek is the leader of the market. Uh, well, I have some other models. Yep. Mm. Wow. This is the ladies models, not in Nautilus and Aquanut. Yeah. Beautiful piece. It's a world time for ladies. Wow. It's a very lovely watch. Nice. And beautiful movement. Beautiful very movement. Nice. Yeah. Unlike the quartz aquanut, beautiful movements. And this is the Calatrava. Oh my god. The world time. This is hand enameled. Yeah, uh, Patek Philip. Wow. The certificate of this watch is beautiful album. Mm -hmm. It's different mm -hmm. than the regular uh, Patek Philip guarantee yeah. certificate cards. Wow. It's one of the rare models that was made in 2019. Yeah. Many different uh, uh, drawings and enamelings you mm -hmm. can find on the dial. But I have just one of them. Yes. And this is the 24 collection that got discontinued. Yeah. And they replace it with the round shape. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's the Patek. Great. Thank you very much, Khalid.